This video is sponsored by Avail. With the driver demand at an all-time high, now is the time for drivers to come together and fight for fair conditions, more control, better rates and more freedom. This can be done through the Avail app. Avail wants to get rid of agencies so that drivers can get better wages, have control of where they work and choose their own work pattern. Want to know more? Download the Avail app today. Morning everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching, do appreciate it. We're just rocking up to work this morning. There she is, there's the truck. We're gonna get the tack card in, get her warmed up, all that good stuff. We are currently loaded for Newbury and we've got 24 pallets on of, um, what do you call it? <laughs> Compost. <laughs> so yeah, that's what we've got on. I'm gonna get the truck started warmed up i'll uh see you in a bit okay let's turn some lights on lovely send the ignition on engine on card in lights on hazards on let's build up some air That'll stop in a second when the uh, when the air builds up. Build the revs up a little bit. Okay. So the engine's on. Just doing our checks now. I got this loaded yesterday from Westlands, which actually would have been the last video that you guys saw. Come back to the yard and uh, went home yesterday, and uh, it's a new day today. And we'll carry on. Uh, that side marker needs to be replaced, it's an LED, so it's not something I can do now. But I would make a note of it, it stopped working. Number plate lights on, it's all good. Check down here. Yeah, no, we're all good. Okay, we are now in the truck and we are going to make our way over to Newbury now. We should be there in about an hour. Uh, ETA there is going to be 7 o'clock, which is when they open. Uh, and yeah, fingers crossed we can get offloaded quite quickly. No idea what we're doing after that, as per usual. So we just head there, get the um, pallets taken off, and uh, then we'll find out where we're going. If I were to guess, I would say it would be probably Tetbury or something to, to be loaded. Because uh, Newbury is only an hour away, so. Yeah, anyway, let's get going. Do the window up. I'll see you in a little while. Um, there's nothing there into it. Truck's just like. Oh, it's gonna crash. Right, we are in Newbury. This corner is always a little bit annoying because you've got cars coming around the outside of you and you need to take a little bit wide. Lovely! I used to deliver to Newbury all the time. Travis Perkins, Build Base. Pretty much just Travis Perkins and Build Base, actually. <laughs> um, when I was doing work for J uh, JK Transport, delivering for uh, Day Aggregates uh, out of South Cerny, we were doing a lot of work to Newbury then. I also used to um, come to Newbury from Southampton when I was working down there as well. So, anyway, yeah, been to Newbury loads of times and uh, always pass. Jusons and Wixes, and I've never been to Jusons or Wixes uh, until today. Today we're going to Wixes, so um, yeah, I know exactly where it is. Been there loads of times. Happy days. Well, no, I've not been to Wixes loads of times. Sorry, I've been past it loads of times. Um, with regards to getting in and out, I'm not entirely sure. I, I'm going to have to park up on the road and wander in. I think. I think it'd be a case. Looking on Google Maps last night, it'll either be a case of. Driving in, reversing out, or reversing in, driving out, one or the other. Uh, so wait and see. But uh, yeah, we're pretty much going by the race course. Um, oh yeah, and also when, when I was doing work for Earthline as well, we, we did a lot of work um, around the race course 
track of the new house builds. And actually, when I worked for Tarmac, on my past two days, we tarmac a lot of the road that we're about to go to. So yeah, I've been, I've been down this area a lot uh, throughout my career with, with various jobs. So yeah. There's a nice looking BMW. Ugh. There's Jason's, there's Wix's as well. So yeah, we want to take this right here. I obviously I went in last night, but had I decided to do a night out, I probably would have just parked up here for the night. I think I see a truck already in there, looks like it's reversed in. I think. Yes. There was a truck already in there who has reversed it. wait here for now I'll go and speak to him tell him that I got a delivery it looks like he's delivering plants I think never mind um, yeah so I will see you in a bit okay good news the truck has now gone the bad news there was actually one hiding behind it so yeah we got to wait for him I guess all that's coming off it's unstrapped um, and it looks like they're taking off one at a time so that's nice of them Still raining, as you can see, so, yeah, we're just going to have to wait here on the side of the road, um, yeah. When we can get in, we can get in. Right, okay, we're now in. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, we're just driven in. We've been here for an hour, waiting outside. So, um, yeah, long time. I can't imagine they're going to be extremely quick either, getting these 24 pallets off. Because they, uh, well... They didn't have much to take off on that other lorry, and it still took an hour, so... Yeah, we just... Well, what time's it now? Keep a track. It's quarter past eight. We're in, so we'll see what time we leave. Um, from here, we've got to go back to the yard, load up with wood, taking that to Wrexham today, uh, get that tip to get reloaded at the same place. You know, it's got to go to Bridge End, uh, presumably tomorrow, so we'll make our way down from Wrexham, which is North Wales, down to Bridge End, South Wales, um, later on today, and we'll probably park up somewhere we're in, no one started loading us yet, unloading us, so it just goes to show, you know, there's no one, there's no one there ready to go. Paperwork's already been given to them. Come on, guys. Come on, let's get me tipped. <laughs> been here since seven o'clock, it's quarter past eight now. Oh, yes. The unloading has begun. Or maybe not. Wait, did you just try taking one off in the middle? Because that wasn't the back of the trailer. What are you doing? Why are you trying to take them off from the front or middle? Right, we are tipped. I uh, just got a notification on my watch to say that I need to stand up. Um, so obviously, We've been sat down for a while. Quarter past eight is when they started. It is now five to nine. So yeah, not the quickest, but never mind. Let's get out of here. I do have someone watching me. I don't need to go back anymore, to be honest, mate. Right, he's doing that. Gate's being opened. Take this off quickly. It's a nice, nice jacket, bit. I, uh, first time I've worn it. It's a waterproof one. It's quite thin. It's good. Let's put my seatbelt on quickly before I go. Lovely, right, good to go. Cheers, mate. Have a good day. Come on, gate, both sides. Yep, clear, 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 clear. 
clear left, clear right. Good, good, good. Okay, good to go. So yeah, we got here literally like uh, seven o'clock, five past seven. Uh, and it's now five to nine, so nearly two hours. Could be a nightmare getting out of here. Could be a nightmare getting out of here because I need the other side of the road. That lorry's letting me out. Nice lorry driver. Thank you. Um, so yeah, back to the yard now. We're going to be in the yard for 10 to 10. Uh, obviously, we had a break the whole time we were there waiting, so we have reset our driving time. Uh, yeah, back to the yard, 10 o'clock. Uh, get loaded with wood, say we're there for an hour, 11 o'clock, and then I'm pretty sure it's a three hour or so drive up there. So we're looking at being a Wrexham. Mind you, will we need a break? We might need a break on the way up thinking about it because uh, it's an hour to the yard from here so uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get there we might be able to get a 15 minute break in at least in the yard um, so uh, yeah fingers crossed we can get there by four o'clock five o'clock at a push should be fine should be fine tip reload and then make our way back down um, see how far we can get down we might stop somewhere up there I don't know driving time we're on one hour now driving time will be on two hours when we get to the yard four hours maximum to get to Wrexham so we'll, we'll be on six hours in Wrexham which means we've got three hours left or will have so we, I don't think we need to worry too much about um, about driving time but uh, we will cross the bridge when we get there cross the bridge when we get there but for now let's crack on let's get to the yard it's nine o'clock so hopefully the traffic's gonna quieten down and I'll see you in a bit. Give a quick shout out to the Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. It is a book absolutely rammed with information regarding anything HGV related. Everything that you need to know is in this book. I promise you, you won't regret it. Link is in the description down below if you are interested. The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. Anyway, enjoy the video. Okay, we're in the yard now. Just waiting to be loaded. I uh, got some straps out ready to go. That's the first one going on. Got a load of timbers here as well from a, from a previous job. That was for the uh, the rebar that I did, all the timber for it. I think it's got to be sent back. So yeah, we've got a full load going on. We're going to start strapping up as they go. So yeah, I'll see you in a bit once it's all loaded. Right, we are loaded, all strapped up, ready to go. Well, we're just waiting for paperwork and then we can go. But uh, yeah, I'll just show you the load. Close, close that up. So yes, this is the load. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve straps going along, and we've got a good three double stacks. Happy days. As soon as we've got the paperwork, we go. Okay, we have the destination put into the sat nav. It's going to take us three hours, thirteen minutes to get there. Should be there just before two o'clock, quarter two or something. Just waiting for paperwork still, and then we will be off. It's coming over now. Lovely. Happy days. Let's go. Okay, you join me three hours and five minutes later. Three hours, five minutes. Um, we are just around the corner from the delivery point. Just need to take a left here. And uh, we're not doing too bad for time. It's, uh, it's, it's almost quarter to two in the afternoon. I would imagine by the time we get tipped and loaded and strapped up, probably be about three o'clock. And then, uh, yeah, just head on down. We'll have, we'll have an hour and, well, just under an hour and a half worth of driving time before we need a break. Um, again, if there is a queue of trucks, maybe we can get a break in here. Uh, but yeah, we can definitely get an hour and a half down and then stop for a break and then carry on or stop there and uh, start again in the morning. So I was just concentrating on what's actually going on here. Don't, don't cross. I swear it was just about across the road. Right, we started indicating nice and early. We're gonna take a left up here. I've never, uh, I've never delivered here this late. It's always been first thing in the morning when I've delivered here. And I've never loaded out of here either. 
So I don't know whether it's busy or not. No idea. Not a Scooby Clue. I don't know what we're loading with either. Someone said pallets. Maybe it's empty pallets, I don't know. Which means I might need to get loaded there, potentially. Yeah. That's just come to me. I, I was thinking or hoping that I would be loaded where I get tipped, but I might actually need to go somewhere else. Not sure. Deliveries this way. Not a problem. Right. So yeah, we just go down here, uh, take a left, and then there's a stop sign, and we just stop there, get out of the truck, and, uh, and unstrap. So that is what we are going to do. And then we move forward, and then they uh, offload us whilst we're still in the truck, basically just behind that truck there, look. So we will uh, park up here. He's having a good look, so I might give him paperwork now. Happy days. Right. I will see you in a little while. So, just had to strap in. Doing all my straps up, look. And uh, I just had someone come over to me. And he said, uh, when, when you're ready, move forward. I go break two o'clock, half an hour. So I was like, all right, there is. <laughs> so what that means is, it's currently 10 to two. By the time I got these straps off and I moved forward, uh, he's going to offload me for five minutes and then he's going to go on break, I think. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be here for at least an hour because it's going to take half an hour or so to unload and reload. Plus it's half an hour break. So, yeah, looks like I will be getting a break in after all. Yeah, so uh, straps are off and we pulled up in the parking space, which is where we are now. We got here... Uh, well, we're in the area in in this particular space for ten to two. So he he could have he could have started me. He could have started me. But no, it's uh, well, it's two o'clock now. Can you see that? Yeah, two o'clock. And uh, yeah, obviously, not not been offloaded yet. So looks like they're all having a break. So I won't be touched until half past two at the earliest. And then yeah, just, just, never mind. Anyway, I put a, I put a random postcode in. Well, not a random one. I've had a look at uh, Bridge Bridge Mead and. Bridge Mead? Bridge End. Yeah, I've had a look at Bridge End and I found like an industrial estate that I think I could probably park at. So I'm going to head there, I think, for tonight. It is four hours and 15 minutes away, so we will require a full break on the way down, if not here. Uh, we also need to stop for fuel and then it's just like, just crack on down there. If we left now, we wouldn't get there until 20 past six. So it's going to be a late one tonight because, um, well, I started, what time did I start this morning? What time did I write it down? I started at six o'clock this morning. So I can work until nine o'clock at night, if needed. Um, so we've got, by the time we get loaded, so we've got a couple of hours leeway. So uh, yeah, I don't know, we just have to see. If we, go, if we don't get to bridge, bridge End, then we don't get to Bridge End, not the end of the world. We just uh, start in the morning and resume, but yes. Anyway, we're just, just a waiting game now, just waiting to be offloaded and reloaded. Okay, so the time now is, what time is it? It's now 10 past three. So an hour and 10 minutes after we got our straps off, <laughs> we're now loaded. We've got loaded with these, look. So we just need to strap it all up now. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Okay, here we are. We are now fully loaded and fully strapped up. So I was looking at these straps, um, these pallets, and I was only gonna put one over each side on each on each one but then i thought no i put two especially when it comes to the ones on the back of what i put two on and then i put one on the back as well crossing it so just to be safe so we've actually got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen straps is what we've got on that so yes and there you go and she's a pretty tall load as well pretty tall I also got told off for not wearing a hard hat, so that's why I'm wearing one now. Ironically, the person who told me off for not wearing a hard hat was not wearing a hard hat himself. Still, that's what it's always like. Okay, so as you can probably imagine, we've been here long enough that we've uh, easily got a break in. Let's have a look at our route back. A 
lot of rattling going on. We need to get, we need to get fuel as well. Okay, so we're just putting in a destination to get some fuel uh, because we will require some. Looks like we're going that way. Yeah, there it is. Had to stop. I've definitely filled up from here before. I just not 100% sure if it's key fuels or not because we've got to use key fuels. There's an app that says it is, but whether it actually is or not, um, obviously, you never know. <laughs> anyway, we are 30 minutes away from that petrol station. We've got plenty of fuel for that and we've got we've got a quarter of a tank so that's good uh, but we will need fuel obviously to go to the rest of the way so we will stop for fuel there and uh, yeah happy days we should be assuming we go straight to where I plan on parking up for the night we should be there for eight o'clock tonight which uh, and we can work until nine so we've got an hour leeway however obviously we could get caught up in traffic so it's just one of those things whereby you know, if we do get caught up in traffic, then obviously both points are asked to park up, essentially. So, we'll see what we can do. <coughs> um, it's all that can be asked, isn't it? Do what we can do. Right, let's uh, get out of here. Turn right. Clear to the left. It's now clear to the right. Off we go. Lovely. Right, I'm going to crack on. I will see you a little bit later. So, I've just been to the services to get some fuel. <laughs> just noticed my top's inside now. <laughs> I've been wearing it inside out all day. <sighs> What's better? It's a bit nippy, isn't it? Okay, you join me on the M4 in Wales. Just about to get off, actually. Um, three hours and 39 minutes after we left with these pallets on or about three hours and 10 minutes after we got fuel and I realised my top was on inside out <laughs> anyway, nonetheless we are um, we're not too far away now from where we're going to be parking up for the night and if I'm, if I'm brutally honest with you I'm quite tired I'm quite tired it is now 8 o'clock at night um, we've been on the road since 6 o'clock this morning. So we are now on a 14 hour shift, which is, a, you know, relatively long, let's be honest. Uh, where we're delivering tomorrow is about five minutes that direction behind us, that roundabout other way. But we're parking five minutes down here. So, um, yeah, we're going to be only 10 minutes away from the morning, so that's not too shabby. Pretty good. Um, but yeah, like I said, 14 hour shift today well over 14 hours because we're not parked up yet obviously uh, for those of you who don't know you can do a 15 hour shift three times a week I paused then because there's a bit of uh, water on the road and just splash right on that car as, uh, as we both went through so I was just making sure the car was okay yeah, you can do three 15-hour shifts in a week, and uh, I don't think I've actually done more than... If you do more than a 13-hour shift, it counts as a 15-hour shift. It's really weird, don't ask why. But uh, I've not done any 13-hour shifts this week, I don't think. I can't remember, to be honest. I don't think I have. It's only Wednesday today, so I would have... I don't. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I haven't. Um, so, yeah. Quite a long day. I'm going to park up. We will be parking up in Bridgemead, not Bridgemead, Bridgend. Why do I keep saying Bridgemead? Bridgend is where we are. Also, uh, shout out to Levi, if you're watching. Uh, apparently you work on this industrial estate that I'm going to be parking up on. And, uh, yeah. Hello. <laughs> you, might, you might see me tonight when you finish work, or it's morning, in the morning, or whenever. But don't, don't knock on my door, I'll be asleep. <laughs> Um, yeah, I've never parked in this industrial state before, so I don't actually know if you're allowed or if there's room, if it's busy. We are going to find out for the first time. That was a good shout to get the round side lane look, because it's brought us straight out into this lane, which is the lane we want. Um, yeah, so I've just, what, all I've done is, when I left, 
I obviously put Bridgemead into Google. I didn't even know where I was delivering to when I found this place. I just put Bridgemead in on, on Google Maps. Um, obviously, it comes up with Bridgemead. You just look for an industrial industrial area. You can normally tell because there's a load of white roofs as opposed to brown tiles and for houses. It's like white roofs for industrial estates. So you have a look and then uh, you just try and find a road off of the main road somewhere. But also, ideally, what I look for is something where you can loop around. So you don't have to do any reversing. That's ideal. Where we are going is a loop round. So, um, yeah, we can go around a few times. Uh, we can go right here or we can go around the other way. Let's go right here. I'm going to start indicating. Actually, it's a little, little bit tight for the right hand turn, but we should be right. Mind those back wheels on, on this curb. There we go, yeah, we got it, we got it, we got it. And then we're turning left here. We've got some trucks parked up, so good sign. And it looks like we can park. Actually, this is not. I got something I've set me off down here, look, which is potentially even quieter. Let's have a look. Could be quieter, or we could get stuck. It could be private property. We don't know. We won't know until we go and have a look. There's another truck parked up here. Look, though, so it looks good. There's quite a few trucks parked up here. It's like a road off of the main road. It's a road off a road off the main road. <laughs> yeah, looks really quiet. Uh, oh, a bit of a bump. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to park up here. Oh, it's a bit windy. You can hear the wind. We go down here and turn left there, and uh, it takes us back out onto the main road. Anyway, let's on, reverse on back. Give enough room for uh, vehicles to get around me on the left side, look. And let's not ram the lorry behind me. Got loads of room, loads of room. Just straighten up a little bit. There we go. Right against the curb, plenty of room for vehicles to get around me. You will arrive at your destination at 2018. Thank you. 12 minutes away. And yeah, though that road there is a road off the main road, and we're on a, on a road off the road off the main road. So it should be very quiet. Another thing I do, turn my ignition off before I do this, because obviously new phone rules now, you're not supposed to touch your phone when even your ignition is on. But another thing I do is I look at where I am. And so there's this place next to me, it's called FRF Peugeot Bridge End. And I always have a look, see what time they open. They don't open up until eight o'clock. We will be leaving here. Uh, well, actually, I need to take my card out. <laughs> uh, we're gonna be leaving here 11 hours from now. We're gonna have 11 hours off. Uh, it's nine minutes past, I need to turn my ignition on so I can see. Yeah, it's, well, it's eight minutes past eight. So, oh, radio. By the time, by the time I do some paperwork, fill out this form, and take my card out, it'll be ten past eight. Any more beeps? There we go. So yeah, we started at six oh six hundred. We're going to be finishing at twenty ten in Bridgend years. Cool, right, so paperwork done. It's uh, 10 past eight, which means I can start at uh, 10 past seven tomorrow if I want an 11 hour rest. I can have a nine hour rest. Because I've done a 15 hour shift technically, it's 14 hours and 10 minutes. Technically it counts as a reduced rest anyway. So um, yes, yeah, so technically it's nine hours off anyway, but I'm gonna have 11 off because I can and because I want to. Um, so yeah, 10 past seven is when I will start tomorrow. The business to the left of me don't open until eight o'clock, which means I'm gonna be in no one's way. Should be quiet all night from here. It's a bit windy, mine, don't get me wrong. Um, and also, Levi, I don't know where you work, but actually, because I'm quite hidden, so you might not actually be able to see me. Um, but yeah, no, um, all good, all gravy. We are done for the day. Hopefully, you've enjoyed it. Obviously, we went to Newbury this morning, then from Newbury, went back to the yard, up to Rexham, tip, reload, back down to here. That is your lot for this video. So, thank you very much for watching. Do appreciate it. Hopefully, you've enjoyed it. 
And uh, yeah, tomorrow I'm going to get this delivered. I would film tomorrow, but apparently the place I'm delivering to, I've been speaking to a couple of people, they don't let you film. And actually, apparently it says big letter and big signs everywhere, no photography. So I can't show you tomorrow anyway. So that's why I'm going to end the video now. So yeah, happy days. Thanks for all watching. Really do appreciate it. Don't forget to check out my merchandise. The link is in the description down below. Probably popping up on screen as well. Till next time, drive safe. Stay safe. I will see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.